The next pattern in the Composing Methods series is called Remove Assignments to Parameters. The motivation here is that you have parameters that are passed into a function and you're assigning values to those parameters when you should just be using a temporary variable instead. So consider this example. We have these three values that are passed in. Each of them are observed in some way, which they should be as parameters to a function, but one of them is also being assigned and then returned as the result. Consider this as another flavor of the split temporary variable pattern, where we should introduce a temporary variable for this assignment. Something as simple as this. And so now, those three values that are being passed in are only being observed, not being modified. This is important because modifying these values, especially in larger, more complex examples, could lead to some interesting bugs. This is especially true with more complex objects instead of just these primitive values. Maybe something like this. Now objects, or anything that's, that's not an immutable or primitive type, provides an interesting twist on this. We might be able to do something like this. This is okay, because this is invoking functionality that's on that object, and it's that object's responsibility to internally maintain the effects of that functionality. As long as the method makes it clear, that it's going to be doing something with that object, then that's okay. This, however, this is not okay, because this changes that object reference entirely. Now it's pointing to something else, and that will lead to some very interesting bugs down the line. So the difference is in modifying what's passed in versus assigning what's passed into the function. We don't ever want to assign to parameters. Now there is a special case with output parameters and that may come down to personal preference from time to time. Personally, I find output parameters to be indicative of uh, a, a better design that could be in place there. Some refactoring that really should happen. I feel that the st structure of a function is fairly simple. You have parameters that go into the function and are observed and then the result of that function is returned. Now, if you need to return more than one object, you simply return a structure from the result. There's no big deal there. So output parameters, personally, I find them to be somewhat distasteful, and I try to use them as little as possible, if at all. So when refactoring code, a lot of times that personal preference may come into play. However, to try to avoid bugs, the pattern itself is still pretty clear. You want to make sure that your parameters aren't being reassigned in some way. Modified, maybe, for complex objects, but not reassigned. We have temporary variables that can store that value for reassignment. And that's all for Remove Assignments to Parameters. Thanks for watching.